Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Bible Illustrated Hands. Um, the situation here in Serbia is still, you know, not all that fun. Um, as of right now, we get about 400 new cases every day, which is mm, bad. Uh, in all probability, we won't have uh, uh, Pascal services done publicly, which I completely support. I wish it that wasn't the case, but simply that is how contagious this is. And uh, knowing uh, how a lot of people around me are directly impacted by this disease, I think it would be better if we simply set this through. Uh, also, uh, I want to wish uh, a blessed Pascha to everyone who has celebrated Easter according to the Gregorian calendar, so Christ is risen. Um, also, thanks to everyone who has wished me a happy Easter, uh, but mine is still coming, you know. Oh no, oh, I, I messed up. Mm. I messed up what I wanted to do, and now I have to fix it. Um, recently, I've been trying to follow a lot of art channels. Uh, because I want to take my own art more seriously, because, uh, you know, this is something that will hopefully remain after me, and I don't want it to look all bad, so constantly trying to improve it all. Uh, today's question comes from uh, uh, Temes Gen Abraha. Uh, he asks, uh, what makes a cult a cult? Uh, this is a very interesting question, and thanks for answering uh, uh, Thames, uh, Thames again. Uh, the issue here is that uh, it is, uh, I think, uh, very difficult to actually define a cult. A cult, um, a cult is always something that defies the local norms, you know? So, was Christianity a cult at the time? It definitely was, you know, it was a classic cult, because it required your whole uh, dedication, um, uh, it uh, required you to behave in a way that was unacceptable in uh, Roman society, and Jewish society, and so on. So, was Christianity a cult at the time? Yes. You know, uh, somebody said that... Um, uh, that religion is simply a cult with a good PR. Well, religion is simply a cult that got a lot of following. Uh, for example, uh, a lot of us, West, at least me, okay, I, I want to say a lot of us Westerners, but at least me, uh, I get uh, not... Uh, I get a very off-putting gut reaction whenever I see... Um, Westerners practicing Hinduism, especially when the word guru is used, because I often feel something extremely problematic about it. And we can have that in Eastern Orthodoxy as well, when um, people worship certain priests, especially monks, and when those uh, priests actually enjoy the attention. So... We can't have that. However, the definition of a cult that I like the most uh, is uh, that uh, that you have a cult whenever the founder of the cult uh, receives more benefits than his or her followers. So, uh, if, for example, his or her followers are expected to give money to him, uh, to give sexual favors, uh, if the cult leader uh, or um, uh, uh, can and does have more wives or husbands than is permitted within the cult, uh, when um, uh, when the cult leader expects one uh, his or her followers to completely uh, cut ties with um, with his uh, uh, that their followers cut ties with their families, and so on and so forth. Um, I think that these are the, char uh, the characteristics of a cult. Also, especially uh, if uh, 
uh, cult does something that is uh, object objectively seen as criminal, you know, so not just sinful, but criminal, um, uh, murder, rape, uh, extortion, whatever. Uh, I, I would say that these are sort of defining characteristics of a cult. Uh, did Christianity at a time and in different places fulfill some of these criteria? I would say it did. Um, and I don't think it is something that uh, that uh, we should shy away from. Um, Christ does says that uh, our uh, our uh, our loved ones, uh, our family members, can become our <laughs> most bitter opponents as we convert to Christianity. Um, I experienced that on a very minuscule scale, <laughs> and even that has passed. So. Uh, a lot of uh, a lot of people born in Orthodox countries don't experience that much. I mean, they may op experience opposition, but not outright, you know, disowning or something like that, or being uh, kicked out from one's home by their parents. So, and I think that may happen to people who convert to Christianity, generally from Protestantism, you know, in the West. Um, I think that's it. Uh, if you guys have some interesting comments, what do you think uh, makes a cult, even if you're not a Orthodox, not a Christian, even if you don't even believe in God, please feel to share because this is something that interests me as well. Bye, and uh, Christ is the reason to our Catholic and Protestant uh, brethren and uh, to my Orthodox brethren and sisters uh, and my sisterhood in Christ. Um, let us have a blessed uh, Passion Week. And by the way, uh, on my tertiary channel, not it's not mine, it's ours, uh, Em and I um, had these um, two episodes uh, by two priests, uh, Father Fo uh, Photius Savant and Father John Cox, and uh, we both discussed uh, with them how should we take... Uh, uh, how should we approach our deprivation um, from the church, from the services, from seeing um, from seeing our uh, our deprivation with the sacraments and so on? I think both of them had great insights, so feel free to check that out. So simply search on uh, on YouTube, Church Mouse Chronicles. That's the channel. Uh, subscribe if you want, don't if you don't want to, and check out those two episodes. They're, I think they're, they're really great. And I think that uh, uh, practically everything that they have said applies to all Christians, so not just specifically Orthodox. Bye!